hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start adding our fighting controller so for the fighting controller first of all we need the characters okay if you visit this rigmodels.com website and on this website if you search for Tekken in here you will find all of the characters of the Tekken game okay so you can use whatever character you want I will show you how you can uh, set up this character in your game okay so for example if you want to use the tech engine Kazama character just simply click on it and when you click on it right here it is okay we want to download this file in the .fpx format okay which is this one film box ASIC format okay not the uh, second one the third one make sure that you download it in this one okay so just simply click on it and now as you can see it shows download starts after and it shows the time so let's wait for it all right so now as you can see it is downloaded if I show it to you right here this is the character so what I'm gonna do is first of all I'm gonna click uh, this uh, extract to and then I will extract it here it is you can now delete this okay and then you can open up unity right here in the assets folder let's go ahead and create a new folder by the name of game and insert this game drag and drop the maps all right and then in here let's create a new folder by the name of player characters okay then in the player characters you can create a new folder and we can name this folder as Jin Kazama so you can copy this name from there and then right here you can rename this to Jin Kazama like this and when you do that double click on it then go ahead and open this folder Okay, let me show it to you right here okay from this folder we will copy everything but we will not copy the license and the animate 3d because we don't need that and then just simply drag and drop it in the Jin Kazama folder and when you do that here it is okay this is the character so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another folder in here let's name this as materials okay select all of them then deselect the materials folder and drag and drop everything in there okay now open up the materials folder click on the character click on material click on extract materials and inside the materials folder just simply click on select folder and now it will extract the materials as well as you can see okay so now here it is this is the character okay now this character uh, doesn't have any rig applied to it for example if we select humanoid click apply as you can see it is showing an error okay so just change it to generic and now we are gonna add a rig to it so that we can use animation on this character okay for that what we are gonna do we are gonna open up the Mixemo.com website and right here click on this upload character and when you click on it you can either select it or you can just get back to the unity app and then drag and drop this in here like this okay just drag and drop it and when you do that it will show the upload character thing and as you can see it is showing processing upload so let's just wait for it now here it is this is the character okay we can now change the character as you can see this is the character back side this is the I think the left side and then this is the front side so make sure that your character is facing the front side okay then click next okay now we need to add the chin so right here just add the chin then we have the wrist so here is the wrist then the elbows so here is the character elbows then we have the knees so we will put knees right here okay if you don't know how to add that then you can just simply open up this character and as you can see here is the chin then the 
what is it? okay wrist then this is the elbows this is the knees and then this is the groin or whatever it is called okay so somewhere right here as you can see right here it shows the zoom thing so make sure that you place it correctly right here okay when you do all of that then click on next and now as you can see it is showing auto rigging so now let's wait for it and after that it will add a rig to our character okay now as you can see our character is ready as you can see we can now use animations on our character we can now click next and our character will be right here as you can see okay don't select any of the animation because we just needed to add the rig to our character we will now click on download we will download it in the original pose and fbx for unity just simply click on download and when it is downloaded right here as you can see we can now just simply drag and drop it in our unity so right here i'm going to drag and drop it in the gym kazama folder okay not the materials folder okay here it is this is our character now okay you can also rename it to chin kazama okay in this way you can use the characters okay we will be changing the animation type as well so change it to humanoid and then create from this model click apply okay so now our character will be able to play animations okay now i show you how you can use uh, all of these characters okay so you can just go ahead and download any character from here and use it inside your game okay but make sure that you read the license of these characters so that you know how you can use them legally okay and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save our time okay and i have all of the characters which i have used in the introductory video okay so i have all of the characters right here with me the eddie jane king lee nina all of that characters so i'm gonna just copy all of them from here okay if you want to use these characters you can either download it from the website and if you want to save your time okay then you can also use them okay but let me tell you that i don't own them okay this is owned by that website which i have just shown you all right so if you want to use them then just go ahead and download it and drag and drop these all characters inside your player characters folder okay and when you drag and drop them it will take few seconds and they will be inside our game as you can see right here okay we have the textures and materials right here okay i've actually named this as tm so texture and material okay we have this unrigged character and then here is our rigged one okay which i have created from Mixima. okay in the same way just i have shown you and the reason i've shown you that is because if you want to use some different characters other than which i am using right here okay so you can do that as well so now i have all of the characters i'm just gonna now delete the jin kazama because i have already have the jin character okay so i'm just gonna delete that now and in these characters you will also find the animator okay and in the animator for now we don't have the animations set up okay so now for the animations let me show you which animations i've used in it okay let me open up my browser okay so this is the animation pack which i have used which is on the asset store this is a paid asset fighter pack can be used with my other packs okay this is the whole name of it this is the creator name so if you want to use it for your game then just make sure that you read the license type and then buy this fighter pack okay for your own game and if you want you can use some other animations as well from miximo.com all right so now in this folder i have just that animations which i have used in my game okay as you can see in these folders i have just that animations so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drag and drop them inside the game folder 
okay if we now click on fighter then let's click on movement let's start from the idle click on animation okay this is the animation as you can see so now for example if I lock this now and open up player characters let's select the gen character drag and drop it in here now as you can see the gen is playing the same animation if we open up king drag and drop it as you can see here is the king character okay and now if I unlock this okay and now if I click on Eddy animator in here you will find the parameters walking and all of the animation setup because I have now added the animations in it so everything is set up right here okay so we don't have to create the animator again and again for each of the character basically this is the same animator I have just copy and paste it in the other characters and just change its name okay and also I have created a separate animator for the opponent as well so if you click on this opponent gin okay this is the animations which the opponent will play so in here you will find all of the animations and all of their transitions and parameters okay basically these are just similar to our player animations okay but few things are changed I will explain everything in a moment but I wanted to show you that now these animations will work on our characters okay but just make sure that you follow all of the steps which I have shown you in the starting of this video in which we downloaded the character and then add a rig to it and then when we downloaded it from the Miximo then right here change the animation type to humanoid and avatar definition to create from this model and then these animations will work perfectly fine for you okay and if you want to use some other animations then just make sure that that animation type is also humanoid okay and the avatar definition should be create from this model or you can select this copy from other avatar and then you you can select your character avatar in here okay now once we had the characters and animations now let me explain the player animator controller so in the player animator controller our we have a parameter by the name of walking okay this is actually a bool then we have the idle animation okay and then we have this four type of attacking animation this is the first this is the second then the third and then right here we have the fourth okay then we have this hit damage in which if the opponent hits our player it will play this animation then this is the dodging animation you which you have seen in the introductory then this is idle to walk and then this is the walk and then this is back to the idle and then this is the idle okay so now from the attack one animation make sure that you name them similar to mine okay and attack anim one animation attack two attack three attack four then this is hit damage animation dodge from any dodge front animation and then this is the idle animation and then you can name these two whatever you want and then make sure that you make a transition back to idle animation like this okay and there are no conditions and the has exact time is true and the same for the attack one two three four okay because we will be calling these attack animations by their name from our script okay then you can make a transition from idle to this idle to walk in which you will need to set the condition walking to true after that from idle to walk we have no conditions we just set the as exact time true then from the walk to the idle we set the walking to false and the as exact time is false as well and then uh, from idle to the idle animation we have as exact time true and the condition is null as you can see right here the player just simply stops okay and then for the hit damage animation from that we make a transition to idle in which we have no condition and as exact time is true because we will be calling this animation by its name and the same for the dodge front animation alright so you will find this whole animator 
in the same way as it is right here you can just simply click on edit and select this animator okay and then if you want to use this animator from some other character then you simply copy it and paste it in that character folder rename it and also if you want to change the animations you can also just simply select that animation and add some other idle animation or some other attack animation just simply open up that animation and drag and drop it its motion in here but make sure that the name is same as mine all right so now when this is done okay when we add the animations and characters now the next thing is to just simply drag and drop the sprites okay so drag and drop it in the game folder and then if you open up sprites here they are they are you can select all of the sprites okay and change its texture type to sprite 2d and ui and then just simply click on apply and it will be changed in this way okay this is the characters sprites and then these are the maps sprite and then this is our menu background okay simple as that now we have everything right here now we can click on scene view open up our map one here it is now what we're gonna do is from the next video we will start working on our fighting system okay we will add one of our character and then we will start creating a script for it so that the character will move around in the environment and perform some attacks okay for example these attacks these four attacks and also the movement and dodge and everything so with this turn see you guys in the next one